Hey guys, today I'm gonna compare a fragrance that has some sentimental value to me because first time I bought it was 2011 in Copenhagen in a duty-free airport. The fragrance is Paco Rabanne Black Excess 2005 version. And why, sen why sentimental? Because this film was my first signature scent. So, and versus Paco Rabanne Black Excess 2018 version. This one goes in a smaller, wider octagon shaped bottle. So, the second time I stumbled up upon on a Black Excess was the new version in 2018. And I just saw, thought it was like reformulation of a bottle, new design. And when I tried it, I said, yeah, it's Black Excess, but at the time also seems like something was off. The fragrance is a little bit different, like devoid of something. Yeah, so today yeah, I'm gonna compare the new version versus old one. We'll see what's up. So let's just not wait waste any time. Here we go. Oh mamma mia. Yeah. I like the bottle. It's just atomizer is also good. Nice mist. Man, oh man. So, um, let's just go step by step. They have similar opening, that nice, slightly sweet, slightly sour lemon. It's more on the synthetic side, of course, but it doesn't come across like that lemon bleach liquid. Yeah, nice lemon. Yeah, then fragrance transitions to the I'd say like sweet vanilla with the flower nuances, both of those, yeah, and stays basically the same till the dry down. This one has still still that more sourness, more vanilla flower nuances. This one, however, the new version is more on a woodier side, that tiny bit. So in general. 90% DNA is the same, but this one is bigger, faster, stronger, yeah, if you will. I mean, much more better in projection, longevity, above average. And the fragrance, like potency of fragrance itself, yeah. This one is weaker and reformulated a little bit, so not much, but still, yeah. I don't know why they did it. I mean, if this wasn't a hit in terms of sales, why would they reformulate just a tiny bit and put it in a new bottle, hoping that this will sell more? Doesn't make sense. But still, this one, the uh, the old ones, it still produced now by the like old recipe, the old no breakdown, yeah. It still doesn't live up to the fragrance that it was back then, because back then it was in 2011 when I smelled it, it was way more stronger and way more powerful. And it had that strawberry slash chocolatey nuances as well. This one, I don't know, maybe a little bit, yeah, but not as much as the back in the old days. Still stronger and better than the new version, but Hard to tell, you know. Uh, if you like fragrances like Versace Eros, you know, those fresh, sweet, clubbing stuff, this one you should check out. This one actually flew under the radar when the 1 million of the toilet came out and it was overshadowed by it. So, but still, very nice scent. Especially uh, if you look for a clubbing fragrance and you got tired of those new freshes, and Versace Eros, so this one I would suggest to check. Yeah, I guess this is it, kind of different, I mean, kind of 
strange why they did this, but yeah, basically the same, but the new one is weaker. So, but anyways, we have what we have. Thank you for your time. I love you all. I see you soon.